Hello my gorgeous Pisces, welcome to your love tarot reading. This is your Pisces tarot for you and your person. Uh, and it's basically a, a love and separation reading because with these reads, we always assume there's some kind of a rift or separation, you know, energetically or physically. So let's get into it and see what your person is thinking and feeling, boo boo. Uh, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please show me angels what's happening with Pisces person. Oh, wow. So it's, ooh, wow, Pisces. Check out, if you have Taurus in your chart, check out Taurus. Maybe you're dealing with the Taurus because I just did a reading for Taurus and it was such a similar energy, boo-boo. It's good news, don't worry. If that's what you want to hear, baby. Whew. Wow, sorry. <laughs> like I said to Taurus, your person is ready. Um, there is a separation here. There is distance that needs to be covered. Um, there is a message you're waiting for. There is a message your person knows they have to send you. Uh, there is some kind of a coming together that needs to happen because they miss you, but they're ready now. I feel like they weren't ready before. So, you know, whatever your story is, it uh, could be Bimbo Himbo from Tinder, anyone in between. For some people, a separation is one day. For some people, a separation is one year. Could be one day, one week, one month, one year. Very similar to the Taurus read. Very slow moving. This person took a long time to reach the realization they, that they are the ones who need to make the move. And it's a good thing you didn't. You waited it out, Bibo. Good for you. You waited this out. They needed to realize. They need to come to you. And, you know, they could have gone through a lot of blaming, a lot of bitterness when you guys weren't talking. Um, but now they're ready to come your way, babe. Now they're ready. Please show me angels why. They, you know, they see you as the love of your life. Yeah, there is disappointment here. Five of Cups, there's disappointment, grave disappointment. Um, this person could have felt like, you know, this person uh, wasn't happy with their life, their situation. It's not that they thought they could do better, but they just were, they felt restless. That's why this, um, a connection did not work out between the two of you. They felt restless. They felt like uh, they were underachieving in, in their life in some way and they needed to go and explore more, like more of something. But but they gravely disappointed you with their behavior. Could have been a maturity, could have been, mm, but it was it was broken promises too here. I do see that. There was, yeah, broken promises. You guys are soulmates, but Bill. This person felt it, you felt it, but this person just was not able to keep up with the soulmate energy, <laughs> the vibe, you know? This person didn't meet you halfway. They didn't, you know, they, they could have broken the promise of a commitment. So, you know, they could have said they, you know, they want to make it official or it could have been an engagement, marriage, whatever it was. Maybe you guys were together for a, a longer time. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Maybe it was a new connection. Either way, there was uh, the promise of something here and the promise was broken because this person was immature, they didn't know what they wanted, they didn't recognize you as a soulmate at first, they just, they didn't, they weren't vibing on your own higher energy. But this Queen of Cups, you know, this is you, boo-boo, this is our water signs. Um, this is how this person sees you as the love of their life. Like, they're getting the soulmate vibe now. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it took them disappointing and hurting you for them to realize what they lost. But they see you as the ultimate. You're like the king, queen, anyone in between of their life, of their heart. You rule their heart. Uh, but they also see you as someone, you know, very much, you know, a queen is sitting on her throne. They see you very much in possession of your feelings, faculties, and control. They know they have to come to you as a knight, you know. A knight will bow before a queen, but boom. That's the key here. Yeah, their intention. So I'm getting, someone else got a reading like this today as well. I think maybe it was Cancer actually, because Pisces and Cancer on my channel always get a similar reading. It's kind of uncanny. I got uh, Leo's too. Leo always gets a crazy read, and Pisces and Cancer always get a similar read. <laughs> and Scorpio is always off the charts too. The Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles, Bibo. Their intention is to offer you 
look, like it's all offers here and it's very concrete. It's not, you know, broken promises anymore like it was in the past. This person, I'm definitely getting the vibes of like a marriage or an engagement being broken here. Or, you know, symbolically, it could be an engagement in the sense of like a promise was made, uh, a commitment was implied, someone implied that they want to be with you, they want to have a future with you, C was marriage material, some kind of a promise, you know, either made, spoken, or implied, and they want to renew that, they want to offer you this now. This person is coming back in because they want to marry you. They don't want to, they don't have anyone else in their life. They don't want they don't want anyone else in their life. They want to have a future with you. They want to give you the keys to their heart because you already hold the key to their heart. That's the point. They want to give you the keys to their house as well. I don't know that might be relevant for someone. I felt like saying that. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, they want to start again with a clean slate. You've got the Ace of Swords, uh, the Sun, Justice. But they know that their karma needs to come back around. And they know when they come back in, you guys are going to have to have a very serious conversation. You've got the Seven of Wands as their next action. This is someone who's going to take a stand and fight for this connection, Bill, Because they know they effed up. Yeah, they know just justice is on your side, babe. Pisces, yeah, you're going to have to judge them. What do you want in this situation? The tower, because they really, they know what they did was kind of sneaky. And it was it was quite epic, unnerving, uh, unnecessarily unnerving and dramatic. Very unexpected, too. So I do see someone here who, you know, could have, it's like, it's like a runaway bride situation. Could be a, a, a sudden ghosting. Very unexpected. This person caught you off guard or maybe you know whatever happened here was so like unexpected that this person just you know turn out to maybe want something other than they implied but this is a broken promise quite unexpected or shocking um unnecessarily cruel as well i'm getting that bit bill let's see who is this person truly in their soul and what is the advice for my pisces Ooh, pisces <laughs> Why the drama? King of Pentacles. This is who this person truly is. Not a, not a bad start, babe. Not a bad start. I feel like this person has matured. Look, they started as knight and now they're a king. The, this person has matured. It's someone who, you know, in their soul is very much about security. It is someone who can build a future with another person, someone who can be reliable, um, you know, when they're on their best behavior. It is someone who has a lot of stability to offer on a soul level to another person. It's also someone who, funnily enough, and this, this might surprise you because I feel like this person was flaky with you in the past, but actually this person can be quite, quite obsessive and like deep and uh, like on a soul level. It's like obsessive, not even clingy, because cl we're clingy, we're water signs, right? But this person is like obsessive, like possessive and obsessive. That's why they can't let it go, because, you know, once they walked away, they realized what they lost, and now they're obsessive. Someone who doesn't let go. So soulmate vibes for sure. I feel like, you know, if you believe in past lives, if someone maybe you were married to them in a past life or something like that. But you got death here for advice. So, boo boo. This doesn't mean that you need to, like, you know, get rid of their number or block them if you don't want to. If you want to retain a connection with this person, you can. But you just need to remember this is just reminding you that, you know, whatever happened here, think about how this person broke up with you. Think about how they treated you. Think about what they did to you. Is this really something you want to transform and resurrect from the dead? Is it really what you want? Because if you want it, you can have it. Because death is transformation and it is rebirth too. And you do have six of cups at the bottom of the deck, which has, you know, something coming in from the past. This is a love from the past. And the devil, obsession, more obsession. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. The Empress behind, yeah, like, you know, there's a lot of epic energy, major arcana, uh, soulmate feels, love from the past, past life connection kind of thing. But, but I mean, death is what you got for advice, which is if you want to let it go, if you feel, you know, if, if you feel you want to let it go, you should let it go. If you think you can transform it, you should transform it. But just be wary and just be aware of what happened here in the past what this person did to you. And just make sure that it cannot happen again if you commit yourself to this person, Bibo. This is the advice that I would give you here. Also, you know, Scorpio energy. Scorpio, you know, this is a little reminder here. 
what would a Scorpio do in this situation? How much does this person actually hurt you? Is it time? Is it payback time? Because they, they got karma here, you know? Maybe you were their karma. Maybe they needed to learn this lesson that if they hurt someone, they will lose them. Take these messages as they resonate. This is a general reading on the internet. So, you know, this is all about free will. Whatever you want to do will be the correct thing to do. But just be mindful that you might be acting as someone's karma here. So, you know, be just, but be fair as well. And don't be too forgiving. Uh, because as water signs, we have this tendency to be a little too forgiving uh, very often and too, you know, we're very emotional, of course. Uh, and that means that, you know, we, we have a lot of empathy, too much empathy sometimes, boo -boo. Let me know in the comments below, Pisces, if this resonated for you. Uh, also, uh, like the video if uh, it helped you in any way. I really appreciate it. I am a small creator on YouTube, and it really helps me out when you like my videos. Also, subscribe for more content and uh, turn on that notification button, of course. And yeah, that is it for uh, from me. Uh, Pisces, if you'd like to get a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. I will see you next time, Bibu. Take care of yourself and may the angels protect you.